Good evening, teacher. Good evening. If I were you, hello, Sally. You're very late. What happened? I'm so sorry. I would have been on time if the traffic hadn't been so bad. I was so surprised when you called me yesterday and told me you wanted to come to the gym with me. I think that's fantastic. You know, lately I felt so out of shape, so I want to change my lifestyle. And I want to lose weight too. If I hadn't gained so much weight, I would have been more energetic. I know you are an expert in this, so if you have any advice for me, I'll be happy to listen. Well, if you didn't eat so many sweets anymore, you would definitely lose weight. You're right. I have been eating too many sweets lately, almost every day. And I know that if you eat too many sweets, you gain weight. You should also try to avoid junk food. Eat lots of fruits and vegetables. You'll not get enough vitamins if you don't eat fresh fruit. If I drank package juice instead of eating fruits and vegetables, would that be enough? I wouldn't drink package juice if I were you. It has lots of sugar. If you want to be in good shape, exercise at least two times a week. Do you practice any sport? Not anymore. I used to go to the swimming pool a few years ago. If I could work out twice a week, that would be awesome. So, work out, lots of fruits and veggies, no junk food. What else should I do? You need to get enough rest if you want to stay healthy. Do you get enough sleep? I'm afraid not. I sleep only five or six hours a night. I watch TV until very late because I'm not sleepy at all. Do you still drink cola in the evening? Yes, I do. If you didn't drink cola in the evening anymore, you would be sleepy. Okay. I'll stop drinking cola in the evening. It's so much effort to make. If I don't lose weight, I will be disappointed. If I lost weight, I would be happier and more energetic. Have I told you that I want to apply to the Academy of Dramatic Arts and become an actress? No, you haven't. That sounds awesome. That's why I need to be healthy and fit and look good. If you were a famous actress, what type of movies would you like to act in? If I were to act in a movie, I would like it to be an action movie. The only problem is that my dad is not supportive. He said that if I became an actress, he would be very disappointed. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. What would you do if you were in my place? Well, if I were you, I would try to change his mind. If your dad sees how important this is to you, he might accept it finally. If I'd had any acting skills, I would have considered becoming an actress too. So what are you going to do after you graduate high school? 
I would like to become an air hostess. If I were an air hostess, I could visit so many interesting countries and people, and I would have such a thrilling life. But if I travelled so much, I wouldn't have time for my family. I want to get married one day and have kids. How could I take care of my kids if I were not home? You would have many days off, so that you could spend time with your family. You know. You're right. I have to think more about this. So how about running together tomorrow morning through the park? Oh, if I can wake up early enough, I will come. If you go to bed early, you will be able to wake up. Zero conditional. I have half class with the cameras up. How many times should I tell you guys you have to get your cameras on? Come on. You're not kids. Right. So let's go. What do you see today? And speak. I told you to speak. I'm waiting. Okay. How about the months? Yeah, January. Right. The date? The date? 19. And the year? 2024. What's the weather like today? It's cloudy. All right. Hypothetical situations with F. One. The first condition. We use the first condition to talk about an action, a present action, a present action for a future result. And it is, and it is. Let's say, see if I can do this in here because it's so difficult to, for a future result. Let's say that uh, is, Simple present plus will. Example, if you study, you will, you'll pass the exam. You remember the first conditional? Yes or not? Do you remember the first conditional, guys? I'm talking to you. Yes or not? I can't spend all night here talking to you and I won't teach you. <clears throat> We're here to speak. O pregunto uno por uno. Prefieren que pregunte uno por uno y yo voy nombrando. Y perdemos media clase. Do you understand? Yes or not? Yes. Thank you. The second conditional. The second conditional talks about an imaginary situation for an imaginary result.
it is simple past plus boot. Or in some cases, put. For example, if we lived, if we lived in the USA, we would speak English as native. You remember? Do you remember? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Teacher. Is in a me remember, notice, notice. In the second conditional, You can't use was. Careful with that. Let's go with this one. The third conditional. The third conditional talks about Regrets. Basically, this is the third conditional. Yes? Regret. Do you know what is regret? Do you know what is regret, guys? Yes or no? Regrets es arrepentimiento. Eso habla el tercer condicional. It's basically this. It is past perfect plus could have or would have. That is the third conditional. And talks about regrets. Example. If you had been, no, I don't know, no, no, no. If you had um, what can I can I say? If you had um Mm. Learned. Ah, here, perfect. His plus participle. Participle. If you had learned English at school, you weren't have a gotten this course. You wouldn't have you wouldn't have needed this course. This is the third condition. Do you understand the third conditional? Yes. Be careful with this conditional. This is a regret. So the first conditional, a present action for a future result. The second conditional, an imaginary situation for an imaginary result. And the third conditional is basically regrets. Sorry, you wouldn't, I guess you wouldn't, sorry guys. You wouldn't. 
have needed this curse. Is this clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. You can copy them.
I'm taking the screen capture. Login the same link.